That pandemic continues to have a negative impact on the overall economy that has Grand Rapids City leaders working to anticipate the fallout. 13 on your side's Angela Cunningham joins us live this morning with a look at what COVID-19 could mean for the city's budget. Good morning, Angela. Good morning, James. The City Commission had a special meeting yesterday to discuss the current response to the pandemic as well as what will undoubtedly be a protracted recovery. Now, the current fiscal year ends on June 30th, which means the city is actively working on the budget that is due on the 28th of this month. Right now, city leaders are trying to calculate any anticipated revenue shortfalls, growing unemployment numbers and diminished revenue sharing will likely create some major money problems for the city. Before COVID-19, Grand Rapids leaders were expecting to see a four and a half percent increase in the general fund. Now they're bracing for the loss of those monies and possibly more. We've had various numbers, revenue shortfall, because we're going to, we, the, the income tax loss, the fact that all the subsidies that are being provided from unemployment are not necessarily taxable locally. We're going to lose that revenue. But that's why it's important for us to restart the economy, because even though the city may not get it, people still have some disposable income to recirculate an economy. But right now, it's not being recirculated. Now, city leaders say the key to economic recovery will be helping local businesses survive and say the city is here to help. The commission tossed around a few ideas, such as alleviating certain fees to make it easier for businesses to sustain themselves. Naturally, the sooner this pandemic ends, the better the outcome. City manager Mark Washington says if we get the all clear by June, Grand Rapids could have a better recovery than most again. Again, the commission is set to present the budget proposal on the 28th, at which time we will learn much more. James.